This is going to be a two bite Turk's head lanyard. What I've got is I have got myself just over five feet, I think it's about five and a half foot of pink paracord. On one end I have put uh, my permalock needle on it and what I'm going to do is the other tool that I'm going to use, you can use a straw or in this particular case, gosh who's this, cat's dog dog, um, I've got a biro where I've taken the middle out of it and I'm going to use that um, on top of my paracord. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass approximately, go through to about 10 inches, so approximately that distance there, I'm going to now sleeve it with my pen and then I'm just going to get some sellotape and I'm going to lock that into place. So all I'm going to do now is form a loop, just here like so, just form a loop and then lock that into place. Like so, that's just temporary. You can use an elastic band, I was going to use an elastic band, but unfortunately when I went searching for an elastic band I couldn't find one. Okay, so this Turk's head that we're going to tie here is we're just going to make ourselves a very short two byte Turk's head. But the beautiful thing about the two byte Turk's head is you can go as long as you want so it makes an excellent covering knot. The only thing is I would say the bigger the diameter that you're covering the less pronounced the Turk's head will be seen in it. You'll see that when you experiment later on but in this particular case on a short thin piece like this it's going to look rather smart and what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, paracord for our and we're going to attach our knife to it as such so it's going to go through the hole of our knife at the end here at the end when we've completed it you can use it for a key ring but personally this is just going to be a for a short knife lanyard what we're going to do now is we're going to start tying our two bite turks head along this length of pen here or like I said it could be a straw or something else that's hollow just to wrap our long lead round and our 10 inches of short lead here nothing happens to that at all. When you're tying the two bite Turk's head around an object if it's a small thin object like this with very little diameter to it it's, it's a lovely knot in itself and we can go any length that we want to to create this and in this particular case we're just doing a short length across this piece of pen at these points here but we can in fact extend it using the two bytes Turk's head. The only thing that I would say is that when you are um, using larger diameters so as we increase the diameter of our core you will find that the definition of the knot starts to disappear a little bit. So personally I find it's a very good knot for smaller thinner stuff but the bigger the diameter um, the more difficult it is. So here we go the first step is and so step one is go round once, twice, three times. So we've now gone round here three times and we then start over and go back down three times. So go round that's trickier once twice, three times and here we are we're back at the top again. Now this time what we're going to do is now that we're at the top here is we're going to go and follow that gap there and so just basically follow this gap here with our cord and eventually we will get round and we're now back at the top and then bring it round like so. Okay so we've done that, we've brought it round and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and follow this one here but we're going to start off with we're going underneath this loop here so take it underneath, oh, 
tricky to do it, it just gets slightly slippery. So let me just get that. This first bit's the hardest. Once it's locked into place, then you can let go. There we go. I've now gone around there. So we've gone underneath that one. And then we're going over. So we've gone under that one. We're going over this one. And here we go. So we're going, let's see, we've gone going over this one, under the next one, like so. Just get the twist out of it, so it's all nice and neat. So we've just gone under one, we've gone under that one, we're going over that one, so we need to go under the next one. So under the next one, like so. There we go. And then under, so over the next one, and under the next one. So take the permanock over that one, under that one, like so. That's it. Make sure the twists are out of it. And then just gone under, over, under this one here. So under, oh, and you can see here where we've been, we've got a nice crisscross pattern of the Turk's head starting to appear. And so under that one, over that one so let's see we've gone under that one we're going over that one and then under the final one here like so which then brings us round to the top we go round the back and then what we're going to do where we've gone so we've gone we've come out here we're going round the back so it crosses over the top of that one. And then what we've done now is we've gone back to the very beginning here. And you can see where this lead comes down here. All we're going to do now is follow that lead under and over all the way around. So we go underneath that one and we're following this lead here now. So underneath like so. Get the twists out of it. Check the back, make sure there's no twists in it. And so that leads there, it's going under that one next, and all we're doing is going under and over to follow it all the way around. And keep following it until you get back to the very beginning again. And as you can see here, this is the easy bit. Everything is locked in place. The only difficulty is, is keeping the paracord nice and neat. It does twist slightly, but as you can see, it's going in rather neatly and quickly. So keep going round, like so. I mean, I'm using paracord. You can use other cordage to do this with. I just find paracords a very nice, easy one to use to make this particular not like so. And then we're up at the top again, but we're still following this lead round. So basically just all we're doing is following the lead round and around all the way like so. It's just very quick and easy to do this one. Obviously the longer you do, more paracord you're going to need and the longer it takes. And just carry on following it through. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just carry on round following that single strand until I've gone up and down and we've got two strands all the way up, all the way down, all the way round. So as you can see, I've followed it all the way round. I'm at the bottom at the moment and I'm following this strand here. So following this strand here and as you can see, it's at the bottom. It's my final strand to follow all the way up to the beginning again. So once again, just follow it round. So we're going under two here. Like so. Over two. Under two. And 
you'll find that as you're going through this, it will get a little bit tighter because obviously it's all bunching up as you're putting more cordage into it. And then we're just going to come up to here now, to the final little bit, push it through like so, over like so, and then we're now back at the beginning. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to undo this, take out our straw or pen, this plastic piece we've got here, and where we we've got to then follow this round, so we follow it round, but we're going to go down underneath and all the way down the middle. So what I'll do is I'll just prepare myself for that and show you how that's done. I'm at the top here now. What I've done is I've taken the sellotape off. I struggled a little bit to take that off, so it's probably best to secure this with an elastic band. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the center core. So just remove it like so. It'll keep its shape in there. Just make sure you don't pull that loop through. Keep pulling, and there we go. It's now come out. And we're left here with our Turks in the head not around our central piece here. So the final thing we've got to do is, we've, we're coming out here like this, we're following this one round, but if we were to follow it all the way round, you'd see there'd be two of them here. But what we're gonna do is just follow it round and then pass it like so down the middle. Just make sure you pass right down the middle like so. So it comes out the bottom there and you can now see that now we've done that, we've actually formed, in a sense, we've formed our, our lanyard as such. So all I've got to do now is I'm going to go round and just work my way all the way round, tightening this up so it gradually pulls itself up tight over our central cores here. So rather than just watch me pulling it up tight, I'm just gonna go around, pick up all the loose bits, just find any loose bits that you've got, use your fid, just get underneath like so, and work your way all the way round. Start at the top and go down, and work your way all the way round, following those leads to pull them up nice and tight like so. And then once you get to the bottom, just follow the lead again, because you're going to go all the way down to the top again. And keep going round and tighten it up. And eventually that will shrink its size, but it will keep its shape. And then I'll show you how to finish this off. Okay, so I'm getting to the final leg of tightening up. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of slack pulled up here now. And all I'm doing is going round pulling up any slack that I've got, keep it nice and tight. And we're just about coming to the end now. So up, should be our last bit, this one. Pull it up nice and tight, and then we should be able to pull it down through the center. Oh, wrong one. So it's gotta be the other one. There it is, yep. Yeah. Just make sure you're pulling the right one through the center like so. And there we go. And then we've now tightened up on that quite nicely. And all I'm gonna do is just roll it out a little bit like so. And that will bring it back into its nice round shape. And you can see here now that we've got ourselves a nice decorative two byte lanyard. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna tie a small lanyard knot in the bottom here just to finish it off. Right, so the final thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna tie a lanyard knot at the end here just to get make it a little bit more decorative. So to tie the lanyard knot is I'm going to split my two leads like so and pass them over my finger like so. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form a loop with the left hand one. So as you can see, I formed a loop like so Slightly tricky because it's I've not got much leads to work with and it's I'll just see if I can grip it for you. That's it. And as you can see with this lead here I formed a loop over itself and I've passed over this loop here. 
I then take this one, pass it underneath here, go round, pass it over that loop, go underneath itself like so. A little bit tricky trying to keep it so that you can see it as well. It's, it's slightly difficult. Um, I've lost the end, there's the end. And you can see here now, I've tied a carrick bend in my um, the bottom of my lanyard. Okay, I've got quite a bit of a slack there. So what I'm gonna do is just pull up on it slightly, like so. Just pull up, get it rid of any excess, like so. Just keep pulling up. And then, now that I've, I've got a little bit more room to maneuver, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, go round the back like so, up through the middle, and bring it out through the middle. And then this one here will go round the back of that lead there, and then up through the middle like so. And then hopefully, when I pull it all up, you will see that my lanyard knot, or diamond knot, is starting to appear. Yep, yeah, there it is, it's coming together. Just pull it up a bit tighter, like so. And as I said, just do a search on my um, site and you will see how, I've done it with a thicker cordage here, and you can see here now how I've put a nice little diamond or lanyard knot at the end of my um, cord, like such. And so now this piece of cord can be attached to my pen knife and I've got a lovely little lanyard. Or you can use it to hang your keys off, something like that. So this here is the two byte Turk's head and finished off with a lanyard or a diamond knot. Now the next thing we could do, it depending on what material you've made it from, you could cut it and then fray it so it gives it a nice um, finish on it and just comb it out. Or you can cut right into there just make sure it's tight first, cut right into there so you can't see where the cords are coming out and you've just got yourself a nice little ball at the end there. Uh, the choice is yours on that. And once again, if you want to, you can use a finishing solution of this, which is 50% PVA and 50% water, just to coat it with and it just gives it that little bit of protection. And also, when it, if it gets a bit grubby, especially with pink, pink's going to get grubby so easily, you can then... it's gives it a protective layer, this um, finishing solution, which means you can then wash it and it will come back to its original colour as such. So this is our um, two-byte Turk's head um, lanyard.